Hey, this is just a quick PSA. Uh, it doesn't have anything to do with the overviews that I promised for this week. But uh, if you have the Humble Bundle on Steam, or you have the Humble Bundle for the SNK anniversary, uh, you already have these, but if you missed it, which uh, apparently a lot of people did, you can get these on GOG. Now, what is special about these is that they come in a really crappy front end. Like, they're not uh, full Steam ports. Uh, they're basically just ROMs in the front end, but as you can see here, I don't know if it'll show up on my uh, video or not. Hold on. Uh, basically what it happens is it comes with the ROM and the Neo Geo BIOS. I'm sure you know, uh, if you've tried to run an emulator or a ROM anytime recently, you know that it's a lot harder to find the ROMs and especially the BIOS for these. So if you want a legal copy of the BIOS and these ROMs and you want to dump them in another emulator, if you have something on your phone, or you're like me and you have a, uh, a RetroArch mod or emulator on your Vita, this is definitely the best way to go. Uh, they are all $1.49 right now. These are some of the best Neo Geo games. Uh, it is missing some things. Uh, you've got the majority of the good fighting games from Neo Geo on here, uh, KOF 2000, 2002, Last Blade, Garo, Semi Showdown, and so on. Most of the Metal Slug games, uh, they don't have the later ones, it only goes up to three. Uh, Shock Troopers, which, which is a really good game. Uh, it's actually pretty valuable now because the PS3 and Vita port uh, got delisted late last year. So it's probably the best way to play it is to just buy this, just uh, just take the ROM and the BIOS out of it, and then dump it in something better. Because I, I hear the uh, the front end for it is pretty bad. Then in here you've got Sengoku 3, which is probably the best game out of this uh, collection for most people. Twinkle Star Sprites. I hear the Steam port for this is pretty bad. So <laughs> uh, this is the best way to legally get ROMs, which is. Something that most people don't appreciate. Uh, it used to be a lot easier to download ROMs. I, I definitely discovered most of these games through emulation. I never even had a, a cabinet of Sengoku 3. I, I've never seen one out in the wild. My my whole experience with that game is, is strictly through emulation. So it's pretty cool that you can get a legal uh, copy here. Let me see if I can get the, uh, the contents of it up. I have it from the... What you would call it? I have it from the uh, Humble Bundle collection that they did last year. All right, here we go. So you've got a bunch of just random stuff in here, but as you can see here, they just have the straight up ROM. So you can dump this anywhere else. So once I set up my SD2 Vita, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these ROMs from here and then just dump the BIOS. Now apparently there's some rumor that they just downloaded these BIOS from somewhere else. <laughs> they just got them from some random ROM site. I don't know if that's true or not. It wouldn't really surprise me. It wouldn't be the first time that's happened. But if you want a legal copy and you don't want to mess around with all that crap, you can just go in here. What it does is it gives you an EXE. Uh, you install it like you would just anything else. Uh, you go in the folder and then it has all the contents here. So you just completely ignore the front end. You take the, for instance, instance this is the uh, Sengoku 3 EXE folder. You just take the ROM, you take the BIOS and you just dump it in something better. You can dump it in MAME. Uh, I believe it'll work in MAME. I'm not sure which version of MAME you'd have to use. I haven't really uh, kept up on MAME lately. But you can dump it in something easier like uh, Final Burn Alpha or RetroArch and it should work fine. So yeah, you can get them off GOG. Uh, like for instance, Sengoku 3 is $1.49. You can get all of them for $7.45. And they have a bunch of other ones here as well. Anyway, hope that helps. Uh, if, you're, if you've got a, a jailbroken Vita or you've got something else to play it on, this is definitely the best way to do it. Uh, you know you're not going to get any crazy viruses from this or anything. <laughs> so there you go. Catch you guys later. Peace.